Hello there guys, and welcome back to Project Castaway. Now I haven't done much since the last episode. I've tidied up a little bit. Uh, I added another level, if you like, to the raft. And I also got this, which I got in my hand, which is the Golden Axe. I have been done a bit more, been doing a bit more mining. And because over there are two massive rocks of gold, so we've got plenty of gold to go through. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done much at all, really. Uh, I smelted some gold here. I could, I could quite happily just do with one of those. That's all we need, really. But what I thought we would do before we head off out to the open seas again. Oh, it is actually getting dark. There's a storm coming, which is not what we want. But let's just light this. Uh, can you light, please, game? There we go. There has been an update. A few little minor tweaks here and there. Um, since the last episode. So, luckily now, one of the updates, one of the fixes that is your thumb doesn't cover the words in the bottom corner of the book. But this is what I thought we'd start with before we head off out. Is read the two notes that we found... I've got quite a few to read, actually, but I'm probably not going to go through all of them today. But we'll start with this one. Blackwood Chronicles 2, Day 84. We have lost sight of the other two ships. The storms have separated us, and now we're alone in the vast expanse of the ocean. The crew is on edge, and the morale is at an all-time low. The food and the fresh water are running out. The sickness has begun to spread among the men. Henry's lifeless body still hangs in the cage, a grim reminder of our desire dire situation. Day 102. The nights are worse. Strange noises echo from the depths of the ship, and the shadows dance in the corners of our vision. Some men claim to see apparitions, the ghosts of these lost to sea. Superstitions run rampant, and I can feel a grip of madness tightening around us. Day 126. Mm -hmm. Desperation had driven some of the crew to the blink of insanity. They speak of curses and sea monsters, the wrath of the unknown, for drawing to venture into forbidden waters. Daring, sorry. I try to maintain order, but it's a losing battle. A once loyal crew has become a band of frightened, superstitious men. Day 135. We have spotted land. A small island appears on the horizon, and with it a glimmer of hope. The men cheer, but I remain cautious. We know nothing of this place or its dangers. As we approach, I pray it offers the refuge and resources we so desperately need. Day 150. The island has, is both a blessing and a curse. We have found fresh water and some food, but it's not enough to sustain us for long. The men are relentless, their dreams of riches replaced by stark reality of survival. Some have taken to exploring the island, but there is an unsettling presence here. We have found remnants of previous inhabitants, tools, pottery, and graves. Oh, interesting. Day 161. We have come to the grim realization that we are not the first to be stranded here. The island is littered with the remains of those who came before us. Their bones tell a tale of desperation and death. As if its island is a trap, a graveyard for the lost souls. The men's morale is shattered, and I fear only a matter of time before they turn on each other again. Day 171. In my final entry, I record the last vestiges of hope fading from my heart. Our supplies are nearly gone, and the men have become hollow shells of their former selves. We are trapped in this purgatory, purgatory unable to find a way out. <laughs> if anyone finds this journal, know that we sought the riches of the fabled lands, but found only death and despair. The voyage has begun with such promise, hath ended in tragedy. Remember us, not as foolish adventurers, but as men who dared to dream and paid the ultimate price. Captain Edward Blackwood. Well, I guess that's how it was in those days, you know. You had to get your ship and go out and explore. We didn't have planes, didn't have radar, didn't have satellites to see what was going on. So yes, I could imagine... Right, let's uh, get some sleep. In fact, let's eat something. And then we'll get some sleep. 
I also need to do a bit of cooking as well. And then we'll continue with the notes in the morning when there's a bit more daylight. What am I doing here? What do I want? I want a coconut. There we go. There we go. Right. Let's get a bit of shut eye. Uh, sleep. Let's get a good eight hours in us. There we go. The next morning, look at that. Beautiful sky. Sun is just beginning to come up over the horizon. It's a beautiful place, but a deadly place, as we have said before. Right. Who was the next? Claire's letter we've read. That one we've read. The radio tower. Uh, escape. Ah, there we go. Logan Harper's notes. Part 1. The Crash. Day, September 1st, 1985. If you're reading this, then you must be as desperate as I am. Name's Logan Harper. We were flying, thinking everything was fine until the storm hit. The plane went down fast, faster than I can imagine. The stench of, bur uh, the stench of burning fuel and chartered metal is something I'll never forget. Wreckage is scattered across several islands. I survived, but barely. When I came to, the stench was overwhelming, and the sound of children crying cut through the chaos. It's been two days since the crash. Uh, the plane is still smoking. Too dangerous to go near. I found a few other survivors, a woman and three kids. Oh dear. I haven't bothered to learn their names yet. They look at me and, and I'm supposed to save them. And I resent it. Their fear is palpable. The kids' constant crying pierces the air, and the sight of their terrified faces, smeared with dirt and tears, makes my stomach churn. Right after the crash, I stumbled upon a wreckage and bodies. The sight and smell made me puke. The acrid taste of bile lingered as I tried to gather my senses. My short-term memory is shot. I can't remember where we took off from or where we were heading. It's all a blur. I have a nasty concussion and my head feels like it's splitting open. The only long-term details stick. My wife, my family back home. Their faces are etched in my mind, a cruel reminder of what I've lost. I miss them terribly. The loneliness is suffocating. Nice. Well, I think we've read all of these. Yeah, end of the first digit is nine. That one we've done. The radio tower. Yes, escape. As I said, running out of time. That was his uncle's thing. We haven't found any of Thomas's notes yet. And then we got the plash. Oh, the struggle. There we go. September 7th, 1985. It's been six days since the crash. My head still throbs from the c concussion and my short-term memory loss is maddening. I have to rely on a woman. I've overheard her name is Claire. Oh. Is that the other woman? And the kids, more than I'd like. They seem to think I'm their leader, but I can barely keep myself together. The stench of the wreckage hasn't faded. Every time I catch a whiff of it, it brings me back to those first moments, to the bodies and the blood. I'm trying to piece together what happened, but everything's still a blur. The kids cry less now, but their eyes are filled with silent plea, and I'm not equipped to answer. Claire is doing her best to keep the kids calm, she comforts them, whispers reassurances. It's admirable, but it feels pointless. We're, sh we're sh stranglers thrown together by fate, with no idea how to survive this place. I miss my family, but thinking about them feels like a luxury I can't afford right now. I notice Claire watching me. She wants to talk, to make plans, but I avoid it. I can't afford to get attached. I notice cuts and bruises on the children, and I can't help but wonder if they will really make it here. If, it, if not, I'd rather avoid further heartache. I managed to build a fire for us, and some palm bedding on the floor. It's not much, but it's something. We found some food among the wreckage, and wreckage so far, and have been sustaining ourselves, although I worry about the rations. 
Claire keeps saying that they'll find us in no time, but I have my doubts. Still, her optimism is a small comfort in this madness. Okay, so he went through all the letters in the end. <laughs> oh no, maybe not. Reality sets in. Yeah, we've still got more. Okay, we'll do those next time. That's enough for today. Getting to know a bit more about this background. But I thought... I would like to try and find some more of these tapes from our uncle and learn a bit more about what Mordopole was doing here. Um, as far as I know, all of the tapes are on this island. I just don't know where... We found two, one at the top and one on the rock. Uh, I just don't know where the rest would be. So... There we go. There's one, I'm guessing. Or a note, maybe. Let's go and check out what that is. That will be good. Yeah, we've still got all these other islands to explore as well. But I would like to find out a bit more about the treasure side of things, about what his uncle was doing here. Or what our uncle was doing here. And, you know, what they were mining, what they found, because they said they found something. And uh, it would be good to find out what, I think. Oh, that's the island there. Yeah, I think we need to go to that one with the three rocks. I don't think we've been there yet. Right, where was this? Here we go. Oh, hang on. Get up. Come on. Up you go. You can do it. Here we go. Is this a tape? Yes. There we go. James, it's Seamus. If you're hearing this, then somehow you've made it here. I don't know if it's fate or just pure madness on my part, but I had this feeling, this certainty, that you'd end up on this cursed island. Maybe I've lost my mind. Honestly, I'm not sure anymore. I haven't showered in what feels like years, and I can't even remember what it's like to be off this rock. The only thing keeping me grounded is the thought that you might need my help. Traveling out of this region by boat? Forget it. The currents, the storms. Something's keeping us trapped here. But I've been working on something. Something that might actually get you out. A plane. I know it sounds crazy, but I've left instructions. Scattered them all over the island. Blueprints, parts lists, notes, bits and pieces of my sanity, really. I figured it's better to spread them out in case Mordenpole gets their hands on them. Or maybe I'm just trying to keep myself from completely losing it. Look, I don't know where you'll land or what condition you'll be in when you find this. But if you don't already have a way out, use the manual I've left behind. It's not perfect, but it's all I've got. I've spent God knows how long piecing it together. And while I can't guarantee it'll work, it's your best shot. And hey, if you find any of the other blueprints lying around, just know I was probably half mad when I drew them up. But they might just help you out of this hellhole. James, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me most. But if you've made it this far, you've got a fighting chance. Keep your head straight, follow the plans, and get the hell out of here. And remember, no matter what, I've always been proud of you. Hey, so that explains... This stuff, the plane blueprints, plane engine, fuel tank, and propeller. I mean, it's all locked, so I'm guessing we have to find all of them before we can build them. Oh, it's a Wilson. I found another Wilson. Oh, cool. I got two Wilsons. So, yeah, we need to find these blueprints, really. Um, I don't know if there's any other tapes on this island. I don't know how many tapes there are in general. But the heavens have just opened, so I think it's time to get off of these slippery rocks. <laughs> and back down. So, he's scattered blueprints everywhere for a plane to help us get off this island. And as we know, we found a couple of those blueprints, but we don't know where the rest of them are. And I wonder if plane blueprints are just on this island or if they're scattered across the other islands. He didn't say islands, he just said island. Which is interesting. 
Right, well, I'm not going to go across now when the storm's out. So what we'll do is we'll grab a quick drink while this is refilling. There we go. And um, we'll just go for a little wander around this island, see if we can get any more of those markers to show up where some more tapes may be. Uh, as you can see, I am beginning to run out of resources on this island. Oh, here we go. Hello. Look, see. Uh -huh. I'm guessing you've got to find them in order then. Is that a tape? Yes, it is. James, it's Seamus. If you're hearing this, then I guess I was right. You made it this far. But I've got to tell you, kid, I'm at the end of my rope. There's so much more I want to say, so much I want to warn you about. But if I do, I fear I'll burden you more than necessary. I don't want that for you. You've got enough on your plate already. I've left those blueprints scattered around the island. How to build a plane, your ticket out of this hellhole. Use them. Get out of here. Traveling by boat is useless. Something in these waters won't let you leave that way. But before you go, James, I have one last selfish request. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, grab at least six of the treasures hidden on this island before you escape. They're more than just old relics. They might be the only way to make sure Warden Pole doesn't get their hands on them. And maybe, just maybe, they can help you and your mother start fresh. But that's it, James. Don't chase the mysteries of this place. They're not worth it. Warden Pole, this island, the secrets it holds, it's all a trap. I got caught up in it, and now I'm paying the price. But you, you still have a chance. Take those treasures, get back to your mother. It's bad enough I left her. Don't let her lose her only son, too. I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry for everything. But I need you to survive. That's what matters now. And if you do, forget about Morton Pole. Forget about this cursed place and live your best life. That's all I want for you. Be smart and get the hell out of here. Okay. So, we need to build the plane and then get six treasures by the sound of it. Is this another tape? Oh no, it's a message in a bubble. There we go. Uh, whose bottled note is that, I wonder? Okay, so that's his. Oh, it's another but one of those. William. Okay. Let's take this back. Well, let's just grab this. And we'll continue our little walk round. See if we can find any more. I'm guessing the... Oh, yes, we can. Hang on. Okay, so they show up in order. Okay, that's fine. That's understandable. Let's just drop this. Plane repair manual. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where does that go? Hang on. Oh, it's unlocked. Power cell 10. Cooling unit 15. Valve 3. Silver ingot 25. Plastic 15. Fuel drum 2. Screws 19. Metal scrap 35. Oh my gold. Okay, that is rather a lot of resources we need for this plane. Rather a lot of resources. That's going to take a little while to mine. So that's it then. Is that the tapes and, the, and I've got the manual now? I've got the... Well, I mean, it's only a... I'm guessing, what's that? Granite. Yeah, silver isn't on this island. I'm going to have to mine a lot of silver. And to be honest, I can't remember which island it's on. No other things showing up anywhere? I'm guessing as we found the manual, it is just three then. I mean, I do have quite a lot of screws and stuff, but I don't think I've got that many. Okay, let's just prop this down here. There we go. Is this ready yet? Yes, it is. Collect leather. Good. Right. Um, come on. There we go. Should have one piece of meat somewhere. There we go. Let's get that on there quickly. I do have these still. 
Is it still good? Where is it? Cooked bird meat. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's just take this big juicy steak. And then I think we'll head over to the island with the three rocks. Possibly. Because I do need to find... Yeah, silver. A lot of silver. Power cells. I do have some power cells. One. And I need... Ten. Wow. So I need to break up all that stuff then. So I best take my hammer with me then, hadn't I? Oh, inventory full. Uh, what can I get rid of here? Hang on. No, I need my pickaxe. Right, okay. Um, yeah, let's head over there. No, no. Go this way. There we go. Right. Good. No, that's not going to do it, is it? There we go. Get on, please. Thank you. The rudder. I don't think we've been to these islands. So we're beginning to lose track a little bit of where I, where I haven't been. I know we went to that one. That's the one that's got the big plane on it. I don't think I've been to the three island one. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this? Ooh. That's a submarine, isn't it? What is this? Some air. Where's my raft? Quick. Ooh. Okay. So there's something in there then. I can't see any fins, right? I'm just worried about fins, that's all. Fins and teeth, that's what I'm worried about. Okay, let's go and check this out. Can we get in? <gasps> Crossbow? Oh no, my inventory's full. Can we open this? Okay, come here, come here, come here. Get on, get on. Oh. I want that crossbow. I'm going back for that crossbow. One last time. This should be nice. But what did I just... F I found a manual for something. But where is it? Radio tower. The radio tower repair manual. I can use it to fix the radio. Fixing requirements. While reading the manual, I realized what well, I'll need the following materials to fix the tower antennas and the power box. First antenna. 15 metal scrap. 15 screws, one heatsink, circuit board, second antenna, metal scrap, screws, copper shards, power cell, power box, metal scrap, screws, microprocessors, circuit boards. Okay. So I've got rather a few things to find then. That's not good. Well, it is good and it isn't good. Right, let's... See if we can head over to these islands. Is it this one? I can't see because of the haze. Okay, well, 
We made it to a new island. And there's a camp here. Beer bottle. Sody pop. Water bottle. Some tea bags. Brewing cup. Hmm. Someone has definitely been here. But I wonder who. Is this silver? No, that's tin. Well, let's do the standard per Is that silver? Is that tin as well? Oh, that's copper. Okay. Let's do the standard perimeter check. Want to keep an eye out for uh, things with teeth. As always. There's another island over there as well. That might be silver. Or granite. Ooh. Manure. That's not good. Silver. Okay. We need silver. Must remember that. What's that? There's a light. There's a flag. What's that? Hang on. There's a flag up there. Just being cautious. Oh, spiders. Oh, God. What is this? Oh, there's another camp up there. Advanced crab cage. What is this? Is that SOS? There's a blueprint there. Hang on. That is SOS. <gasps> Is this where Claire was? Hang on. Hornet repellent. Yeah, it's not what I wanted. But I'm guessing if there's a lot of hornet repellent here, I'm guessing there's a lot of hornets, so we may as well apply some of that. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit um, sleepy. Boost of energy. There we go. Let's have a sodi pop. Something I haven't tasted in uh, quite a few weeks. But how do I get up there then? Let's just keep going around the perimeter, see what we can see. Thought that was something lunging out of the ground then. Is that more silver? Okay, I've got no room for more sticks. Let's just keep going round. Ugh! I hate that noise. I absolutely hate that noise. Tipper tapper of eight feet. It's horrible. Damn, that's a big starfish. Okay, we're back at the beginning again. Some more barrels here. So how do I get up there? Question is... Do, are there any kitty cats here? Oh! Yes, there is! Okay, he's got to go. Tag him twice. That one I missed. Okay, he can't get to me. Okay. Let's skin you the leopard. Okay. Now I feel a bit safer. I just hope there isn't another one. Oh, get me out of the big bushes. Something like that. Okay, so this island actually has quite a few resources. But 
how do you get... Oh! Elite bird snare. How do I get up there, though, then, I wonder? Hang on. We can figure this out. We're intelligent. There has to be a way up here, maybe? No, that's too steep. I can't get up there. Oh. Yeah, this is the SOS. Oh, that's gold. So how do I get up there, then? Hmm. Any more blueprints hiding around here? Yeah, look, see? Plain air filter. So it's not just on that island, then. Air filter, too. Where the hell do you get all this stuff from? Where do I get air filters from? How on earth can we... Okay, there we go. That's better. Come on, then. Up we get... There we go. Hup. Okay, can't get up that one. There we go. I have no idea where we're going to find all this stuff. Oh, at least we got a little camp here. Oh. Uh, that... Is that... Is that Claire and... What was that guy's name? No. Mm. What was that guy's name? Logan, yeah? Yeah, Logan. Is that Claire and Logan? Energy bar, bandage... Ooh, gold arrow. Oh, I want that. Gold knife. It must be them, look. It must be must be those two. Where they were. Why can I not take a golden arrow? Inventory full. Oh, so you can only have one or the other. You can't have both. Okay, that's a bit silly. Oh, big old fish. Rotten salmon. Blech. What's this? Stone. That must be those two, I reckon. Oh, let's continue on looking around this island. Where am I going to get all the stuff from? The air filter and stuff like that. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to get those things from. Can, can we get up here somehow? Jesus, you made me jump, Mr. Turtle. Bloody hell. Can we get up here? Hmm. Very easily by the looks of it. Maybe here? Yes, we can. Do a bit of parkour. Okay, there's not much up here then. Well, at least we have a camp already set up for us, I guess. And I've taken out what seems to be the only threat on the island. Is it gonna hurt? Ooh! I just broke my ankles. Got some yucca there, that's good. Anything else around here? Any notes? Fix. Oh, there's my raft. You're very tired and to sleep, yes, okay. In a minute. Oh, it looks like that's all we've got here. What's this? That's a different plant. I've not seen that before. Well, I have no idea where I'm going to get all this stuff from. 
I wonder what happens if you break barrels up. Interesting. I wonder... Oh, metal shards, I guess? None of this stuff is here, is it? Like... Leather chair, coconut... Oh, there's no bed here either. Okay, well, I, well, I think we're going to stay here tonight. Let's quickly... Um, I can't remember what I need for a hammer. Hang on. Where are we? Stone shard and a small stick. Okay, that, that can be... That can be acquired. Inventory full. Damn. Okay, need to get rid of some stuff here. Hang on. What can we get rid of? Get rid of that thing. Now we should be able to get the hammer. There we go. But I have no room for it. Typical. So let's get rid of the pickaxe just for now. So I can pick up the hammer. There we go. Um, <laughs> right. Let's just get a bed going. Can we put you under there? Oh, almost. There we go. Let's just get this going quickly. So at least we can get a little bit of cover over us during the during the night. We've got plenty of resources on this island, so we should be okay. One more. Oh, it's just starting to rain. Typical. You know what? Jesus Christ. Son of a... Ah, the golden arrow isn't for this. Okay. Interesting. Do I need to make some more arrows as well? Take that back. Right, where'd those palm fronds go? There we go. And what we also need is just a quick campfire. We put it under a shelter. Alright, let's just put it there. Now we need some stones again. My arch nemesis. Finding stones. Because they can be quite elusive. It's a shame you can't smash these rocks to get stones. That would be good. You're a crab. You're okay. Crabs I can deal with. Oh, hornet. Guarding the stone I want. Yoink. Ooh! Run away! Please don't sting me. Shit! Okay, that got rid of him. And I smashed a rock. No! I didn't mean to do that. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, there's a... I didn't put that, did I? No, of course I did, you idiot. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Got any more stones close to us? Maybe over here. Oh, there's a couple. Okay, here we go. Two. That's a crab. Is that another stone there hiding in the bushes? Yes, you are. Thank you. Right, let's get this down. Need one more. Typical. Because of that one I smashed by mistake. Come on, I need one stone. There's one. Wow, there's a lot of metal here. Okay, I'm going to have to smash this up. And get these metal shards. That's how I'm going to get the metal shards. By smashing up all of this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some mining, I think. And the silver as well. Good job I got my boat. But where am I going to find the other stuff? I have no clue. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. Ooh. Good because it's raining. Yeah, it's because it's raining. It needs a shelter over it. Damn. Um. Large sticks and fronds again. Okay. Over those fronds. Can be all done. That's fine. I need to cook up this meat before it starts going bad as well. Right, fronds. We need two fronds. Oh, a bit stingy. Right, let's get these in. Oh yes, I'm very tired. I know, I know, I know. I know I'm tired. You can sleep in a second, Bob. Go. Right, and now some large sticks. Actually, you know what? Where was that energy bar? There we go. Give us a bit of a boost. This one. Uh, there we go. Got those. Now we should be able to get this fire started. There we go. What the hell? What the hell just attacked me? Something just pushed me. Okay, that was freaky. Didn't like that. I'm on edge now. I hope there isn't another kitty cat on this island. Okay, they're ready. Let's eat those if I can find them. Rotten meat. Why is that gone all rotten? I just cooked all that. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna have to have a coconut then. And another one. Okay, let's get some shut eye. Okay, well, I don't know what attacked me then, that was very weird, that was, that was really, really weird. Well, I don't know why my meat went rotten, but we're just going to have to have some coconuts, I think. Put some of that on as well. What else we got here? I'm not going to have that for breakfast. Tea bag. Let's just leave that here. What's this? Brewing cup. Well, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start smashing up some of these resources. Oh, wow. That's going to take a long time. And that's going to take a lot of stone hammers. Yeah, that is definitely going to take a long time. What about the barrel? Is it quicker with the barrel? Let's just give this a quick test.
Nope. Okay. Well, I've got my work cut out me out for me for the next few days. I'm going to harvest as much silver as I can. Does it say silver ingot or silver shard? Hang on. Let's check this. Wait, wrong one. Where was it? Aeroplane. Silver ingot. Yeah, no, I actually need to smelt it down. And plastic. I have no idea where you get plastic from. Valve? I have no clue. And what was the other stuff? Scrap metal screws, heat shrink circuit board. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to visit some of these other... Some of these other islands to look for materials. That's ours. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. But anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get on with breaking some of this down and start getting some of these materials that we need. Because it is going to take rather a long time. Um, we can get rid of the hammer. For now. Pick that. There we go. For the silver. But at least we have sort of basic shelter already. There we go. I can sit out and look at the view. Can we break this up? No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Alright then, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that little notification bell so you get notified whenever my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.